What's up? In this video, I'm going to show you how you can lock and hide apps on your Samsung Galaxy A36 5G. Let's go. Welcome back to the video. My name is Sergio and in this channel, I make life saving tech videos. So if you're new here, feel free to subscribe and hit the bell while you're down there. All right, let's jump right into it. So uh, you may want to lock and hide certain apps that you don't want others from accessing if they get hands on your phone. It could be social media apps, financial apps, etc. any type of app that you want to lock and hide. So for the example of this video, I'll be using uh, Facebook. Um, so I'm going to show you how to lock it first and then how to just completely hide it. So first thing you got to do is you got to go into your settings. Okay, in your settings, you're going to scroll down to security and privacy. In security and privacy, you're going to scroll down to more security settings. And then in here, we're going to have the secure folder option. And that's what we're going to be using to lock apps. So go ahead and select secure folder. We're going to have to set up the secure folder. Okay, you got to allow uh, permissions for the secure folder. There you go. It's creating it. Um, so in order to create the, the, the secure folder, you are going to need to either log into your Google or Samsung account. There we go. So once the secure folder is created, it's going to ask you to set up a pin password pattern or use biometrics to lock the secure folder. So I'm just going to use a pin much easier. Okay. So it says uh, allow lock reset with Samsung account. So this is just in case you forget your pin or password for your secure folder. You can always reset it with your Samsung account. So I'll just hit allow. And uh, once you're ready, hit next. And there you go. The secure folder will be created. And as you can see, there's already going to be some apps here automatically in the secure folder. So what you want to do now is to add an app to lock. You got to hit the plus sign. And here you can select the app that you want to lock in the secure folder. So uh, we're going to be using Facebook. Like I said, you can add as many apps as you want. Uh, once you're ready, go ahead and select add. And as you can see, Facebook is now in the secure folder. Okay. So the next thing that we have to do is we have to remove Facebook from your home screen and from all of your apps here. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to tap and hold Facebook and we're going to select disable. Go ahead and confirm, disable. There you go. Now it's not in the apps anymore. Uh, let's check the home screen and it was removed from the home screen as well. So now you have Facebook nowhere to be found on your phone except in the secure folder. So if we try and enter the secure folder, it's going to ask you for your pin. So essentially your app will be locked. Okay. Now, once you're in the secure folder, now you can just open it uh, and it will work normally. Okay. Um, so if you want to take it one step further and completely hide the apps, uh, you have to hide the secure folder. And how you do this is uh, by going to settings here in settings. Once again, go to security and privacy and go down to more security settings. Okay. We're going to now go into the secure folder and we're going to toggle off, disable, add secure folder to app screen. So once you toggle this off, okay, it's going to ask you to confirm, hide secure folder, hide. Now your secure folder uh, is not going to show up. Yeah, as you can see, it used to be on the next page. Now it's not here anymore. Now uh, your apps of in the secure folder will be completely hidden as well. Okay. However, you won't be able to access the apps either. So it might be counterintuitive. Okay. So once you're ready to unhide the secure folder apps, um, you just go back into settings, go back into security and privacy, more security settings. Once again, into your secure folder, put in your password and enable add secure folder to apps screen. There you go. So once, uh, once you enable it, your secure folder will be in your apps again, and you can go ahead and access your hidden apps. So there you go. That is how you lock and hide apps on your Samsung Galaxy A36 5G. Go ahead and destroy that like button if you enjoyed the video and comment down below and let me know. That's all for this one. I'll catch you in the next one. And as always, peace.